Hey, welcome to Badge Banter, where we feature awesome stories from some of our great partners, uh, sharing the importance of the physical ID badge as a foundation of an organization's overall security. I'm Lindsay Martinez from Badge Pass, and today we have Jake LaPlante from Entrust joining us. Hi, Jake. Thanks for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. Um, before we kind of dive in today, why don't you tell us a little bit about Entrust and what you do there? Yeah, absolutely. So as Lindsay said, I'm Jake LaPlante. I work with Entrust. I'm on our instant issuance team. Uh, so essentially helping customers with their credential issuance, starting from, uh, you know, issuing a, a credential in the, you know, office or a, a workplace uh, and getting that uh, secure credential to, to an end customer. So that's what I do here at Entrust, and I'm excited to talk to you today. Well, Entrust has been a well-known name in the identification space for many, many years, so we're glad to have you here today. As we know, the whole premise of Badge Banter was designed around talking about an organization and a use case uh, for a customer that's issuing badges in kind of a unique way and how that enables their cardholders to improve their overall experience. So why don't you share a story of a cool customer account with us first, Jake? Yeah, absolutely. We have uh, one, one that comes to mind is we have a large resort uh, that utilizes um, our credential uh, issuance um, printers uh, to issue uh, credentials to their guests um, and doing that credential, you know, starting with personalization and making it, you know, the look and feel of the end, the, the person holding the credential, uh, making it their own, uh, but essentially the different uses of that credential after it's issued. So uh, with this resort, they have three different things that they're utilizing that credential for. So getting in and out of doors, so typical for a resort, uh, with you know a hotel room or uh, tapping in, uh, as well as point of sale, so being able to make purchases with that credential and parking at this specific customer as well, so utilizing that credential um, for their parking. So that's uh, that, that's uh, one that I would say. That's so cool. I love that story because a lot of times when we have people on here, we talk a lot about like employee badges, or student badges, and that's really like the most common thing people think about when they think about ID badges. But here we've got, you know, a resort issuing personalized cards to their guests when they check in, which is very unique. I can't remember the last time I checked into a hotel and my key card was personalized to then enabling those people to use that to make purchases and park and not just access their room, which is typically what you think of when you think of like a guest key card. Mm -hmm. um, I think that that really speaks to how a card could really enhance like your overall experience during your stay there. Like now I want to go stay there. <laughs> Absolutely. It makes, it makes the, the customer experience a lot better um, to have one centralized uh, card um, to be able to do multiple things. Um, so to your point, making the customer experience a good one. That's the goal. Absolutely. So speaking of customer experience, that's a good segue. Entrust obviously plays a big role in the identity space as a whole. And the security industry has really been debating the merits of physical badges versus mobile credentials for some time now. A debate that I personally love being a part of. But when we talk about customer experience, user experience is a lot of times at the core of the debate um, between physical badges and mobile badges. So what are your thoughts on this topic? Yeah. Yeah, great question. That's one that we we talk about a lot here at Entrust as well. Um, so from from my standpoint, physical credentials, I don't see them going away uh, by any means, but I do see the rise in digital credentials as well. Um, so not not necessarily replacing, uh, but working in tandem with the physical credential. So utilize you know both your phone potentially, uh, as well as that physical credential uh, to you know. Uh, one use case that comes to mind as well is, you know, airlines, you know, you see that you can have the physical paper printed receipt uh, and or a barcode on your phone. So different use cases uh, for digital, but definitely see them working in tandem. Do you think that over time, so right now there's a lot of debate about like the technology that's tied to a physical credential and whether or not that's as secure as if I had, you know, a mobile credential that I could then use for some of, if not all of the same use cases. Do you think that over time, even if you keep a physical badge, that some of those technologies may evolve or may move to mobile or what's kind of your thought on that? Yeah, I definitely think that some of the technology is going to move, move to mobile. But again, I want to echo that um, I don't foresee... For, this is my personal opinion. I don't foresee uh, digital, you know, going 100% digital in the, the near future by any means uh, from, a, from a technology standpoint. Um, but there is definitely use cases where there is where there is growth. And a lot of the times we talk about the physical credential, you know, for a workforce, for example. So if I, if I were driving into the office and I left my badge at home, um, you know, I may just drive in, 
go to the front desk and say, can I get a temporary badge as opposed to turning around and going to get my physical credential. Uh, but if you forget your phone at home, uh, you're, you're more than likely going to turn around and go get that just because of how our society is right now um, and how much we depend on that, that cell phone, if you will, in your pocket. So. Yeah, no joke. So I think that that speaks to user experience. And I think that definitely creates a much more positive experience. If I can just use that device um, from a security perspective, I'm with you like the workforce ID and that as a means of visually representing that I'm supposed to be somewhere. I don't see that going away, but how nice is it if I have both? As, yes. as an employee um, where I could say, hey, I forgot my badge today when I go to the front desk and then I say, but here's my mobile badge. Um, and so I'm still validating that I am who I say I am. They can still give me something temporary um, for that yes. day. So if people still have a visual, hey, Lindsay's supposed to be here. This isn't just like some rando walking yes. around. But I, I love that idea of those two technologies really working in tandem. And I obviously agree. My opinion has been pretty vocal on this topic for some time now, um, but it's nice to hear it from other people as well and your perspective. Absolutely. Yeah. I think that's the, the direction that we're going. Um, so having the both options really, and that is something that we, we definitely discuss on a daily basis. I would, I would say being in this, this space. So yeah, it's, it's an ongoing debate for sure. So, well, Dave, thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate you taking the time. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Yeah, for sure. All right. Join us next time as we take you beyond the badge.